uh, between what happened just chatbots world and the conversational AI world. Why, why do you see uh, you know, that option is more and why people are more excited to this technology versus what happened to the pure chatbot world? Yeah, no, that's an excellent question. And I'll tell you, if I'm part of an organization, my most important asset or people I deal with is my customer. Right. Whether it's external or my internal employees. And what as an organization matters to me is the user experience. Right. So that means my agent or someone who's talking to my external customers or my clients have to give that user experience, which is really seamless. Mm -hmm. They are able to understand what the customer is asking. They're able to sort of respond in a consistent manner. Sure. Now, the thing is, when we were talking about chatbot, right, we had to start from somewhere, very scripted. Yeah. It was very menu based, which means anything that would change, I had to basically build in my chatbot. Yeah. It didn't give me enough flexibility. It's like having a macro on your Excel. And if something changes, I need to fix my macro. Yeah, works fine. It works for me, individual. Yes, I can fix my macro. I can make it work. But here I'm talking about my customers who are probably asking the same thing in 100 different ways. Where is my money? Show me my balance. Where is moolah? Am I rich? I mean, there's so many different ways asking a question. And I don't think that we could have achieved with just pure chatbot technology. That's where the conversational AI is fun because now you're training the machine with mm -hmm. these utterances, where the machine becomes smarter over time, can actually understand what am I really asking and be able to respond back. And if the machine doesn't get it and say, okay, I'm so sorry, I didn't get it, you know, and be able to either hand over to my agent which is again, a part of user experience, or, uh, or it can basically be, or we can very easily train it. So next time come, come around, it's able to understand what you really mean. So definitely, a, you know, I would say the user experience was, um, I would say 10x increased when we started looking into conversational AI. So again, that technology obviously became sticky, um, resounded more on the boardrooms, with the executives because they found, this is where they found the potential that they could now build that kind of user experience mm -hmm. that they've always been wanted. And again, if you think of it, I mean, if I am city or I'm a bank, I need my agent to be talking in a certain way, right? I have a certain persona yeah. which my agent should have, the language that my agent should have because that is a city way of talking a city way of communicating, whereas um, a, a tech company may have a different persona because that's how they are. Like it's, uh, it may be very informal. Now I, I, I want my chatbot or my conversational AI to have that similar experience because I am now taking that, what my agent, now, how my agents talk to into the persona of my conversational AI bots. So again, now I'm gonna to touch another point on this is design thinking. Yeah. How important it is, right? I mean, if I didn't start from my customer first, mm -hmm. I don't think so I could have done this customer journey. If I didn't understand my customer journey, I don't think so I could have ever be able to successfully understand how this whole conversational AI really should develop. And I think that's a very, very important point when you look into this technology is it's, it's basically a customer journey, design thinking, where you start this whole flow of conversation and then leading into your backend. So the, so the efficiency should not just be the tech. Efficiency is not just fixing your backend on the cost of your customer. Efficiency becomes my customer service. Am I making an improvement? Am I engaging my customers? Am I giving them what they really want? True. So I think that's key um, you know, for, for us to look into when we look into conversational AI versus chatbot.